everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute Mockingjay bracelet. And these were <laughs> this was designed by Loomer Kitten on Instagram. And I will bring up her Instagram profile really quick. I just wanted to show you a little bit of a closer view so you can see the little intricate um, pieces in this bracelet because it's really nice. Um, so let me bring up her profile really quick. Here we are. Loomer Kitten. And I will also have her name in the description box below. So make sure to check her out. Give her a follow for me because her account, oops, sorry, is really awesome. And as you can see, she mostly makes her own original designs. And I think um, that's almost all of the designs that she's posted. And they're really, really cool and unique for sure. So definitely make, up, make sure to check her out on Instagram and follow her if you do have an Instagram account. Um... And yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this today. Sorry, there was a weird noise outside, but I'm going to show you how to make this. And you're going to need five bar pins or two looms aligned like this. You're going to need a hook, a C-clip, and three or more colors of bands. Today I'm going to just be using three so I don't confuse you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. For the border today, in this bracelet the border is white as well as the single chain in the center, I'm going to be using neon blue. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and start from the center peg and you're going to go out to the left and out to the right. Just like that. Then you'll go up to the outside and up to the outside. And then you're going to do two single chains going all the way down your loom until you reach the second to last peg on the sides. So I just reorganized like all of my bracelets and stuff so um, I had to kind of move around to my filming stuff so it's a, it's at a little bit of a different angle. I think it's a little bit closer actually so I hope it helps at least a little bit. So I'm just doing this up the right side now. Once you reach the second to last peg, you're going to go into the center like this and then across the middle. And once you finish that, go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom. The next layer we're going to place is just going to be this single chain running down the center. So I'm going to use my neon blue again, and it's not super visible, but it does um, it does show up a little bit here. So um, just pick a color, whichever one you want. I'm using my border color and just go straight down the center peg. Alright, once you reach the end it should look like this. So once you have this on your loom, go ahead and come back to the beginning. And we're now going to be placing the um, these bands here. In this one, it is these spearmint bands here. It's a V shape. And in this one, it's these green apple persians. So I'm going to be using turquoise jelly for this. And what you're going to do is start from the center peg and go out, up and out to the left, and up and out to the right in a V shape. And then go to the second peg, repeat the same thing, go out to the left, and out to the right and just repeat this all the way down your loom just going up one peg and then out to either side
and then your last one will be placed here going out to your perimeter. Then once you finish that go ahead and come back to the beginning of your loom we're going to place our third and final color. For me it's going to be um, these bands here. In other bracelets I've alternated this um, but today I'm just going to keep it the same color so I don't confuse you. And here it's the purple potion from the Halloween um, I guess collection. And in this one it's the midnight blue glow from the Halloween collection. So. Um, I think dual, not dual, sorry, tricolor bands, like the bands that are divided into three colors, look really well um, for this part. So I'm actually going to be using the yin yang bands. These are just in the opaque section on rainbloom.com. And yeah, so you're going to start from this outside peg and you're going to go oops, into the inside here. And then from this outside peg to the inside. Then you're going to go ahead and go across the center, so into the center and then out like that. And then last step you're going to be placing two single chains forward here. So again, from this outside peg, you go to the inside. And then you're going to go from this outside peg to the inside again. Oops. And then you're going to go from this peg to the center and from this peg to the center and then from this peg straight up and this peg straight up. You can also place these um, vertical bands after you've placed your bands that go across and then across the center. I'm just going to place them all at once because that's how she taught me. So I will teach you one more time after I finish laying this set and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this all the way down my loop. So starting from the outside, you're going to go up and into the center. And make sure you do that on both sides before you do anything else. Then you're going to go across on the left and on the right. And then straight forward on both the left and the right. So go ahead and do this all the way down your loom. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of mine and then I'll show you how to loop this bracelet. Which is really fun by the way. I've made so many of them. Okay, so this is the last set that you're going to place like normal, but then as you can see, you already have bands going up into here and up into here and across the center. So all you're going to do is just place one band straight, just like that. So I actually end up keep moving my camera. So I'll go ahead and turn your loom around so that the arrows are pointing towards you. And you're going to go ahead and grab your hook and then one last band, which is going to be neon blue for a cap band just right on the center peg. Oops. Alright, and so once you have done that, it's time to start looping. So go ahead and go underneath of your cap band, and you're going to grab that top band, which should be your single chain band, and you're going to pull it forward. Then you're going to go ahead and pull this band to the outside, and this band to the outside. And then you're going to pull this single chain band straight forward, 
this single chain band straight forward and then what you're going to do is go inside of this peg and grab the top band you're going to pull it forward it's going to be your next single chain band then go back in that peg grab this band and you're going to pull it into the center it's your horizontal band then grab this band and pull it to the outside if it's easier you can just loop this single chain straight up the loom first I'm just going to do it step by step because that's how I learned it. Um, so again, just pull this single chain band straight forward, this horizontal band into the center, and this band to the outside. Once you've done that, you might want to push down the bands in the center because now what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to grab this turquoise V-shaped band and you're going to pull up into the center. Again, same here. Go inside of that band grab the v-shaped band and pull up into the center so it's going to be really stretched out here then you're going to go all the way to the bottom and grab that very bottom single chain band and pull it forward you're going to repeat this process down your loom so I will teach you a couple more times you're going to try and adjust this so that it's not in my way oops sorry I'm still getting used to this so go straight forward and straight forward then again back in that peg, go into the center, and then to the outside, go into the center, and to the outside. Push the center bands down, because you're going to grab this V-shaped band, pull up into the center, and up into the center. Then go all the way to the bottom, grab your single chain band, pull it forward, and repeat. So pull that single chain band forward, go in and out, go here, go forward, in and out. And also if your bands on the side get twisted, I just, um, it's they don't get twisted too bad when you take them off, but I just like to untwist them there, then pull the V-shaped band up into the center up into the center and pull that single chain band forward so this is the last time I'm going to teach you and then you're going to do the rest of this and I'm going to do the rest of this and then I'll show you what you do, what you come oh my gosh what you do next sorry so you're going to pull the single chain band forward and forward here as well then go to the inside to the outside from here to the inside and to the outside. Then grab the V-shaped band, pull it up into the center. So you're going to do this all the way down the rest of your loom. Then I'm going to finish this as well. Um, you can go ahead and follow along or rewind the video if you still need instructions. I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I will come back and tell you what to do next.
So once you get to the top, you may notice there's still a set of V-shaped bands up here. So all you're going to do is grab those and pull them up into the center there. So then once you have finished that, you're going to go ahead and push down all these bands that are on the outside pegs so that we have room to loop our next layer. So now all we have to do is loop our blue border bands that are on the side. So you already looped this one out, so just go under here and grab this one and pull it to the outside. Under here, grab this one, pull it to the outside, and then pull this straight up. And same thing over here. Just go ahead and pull that straight up. Then I like to take these off at the bottom. And now I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way down my loom. And then I'm going to take this off. I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to be like because I'm not really sure. Let's hope it's good though. And once you get up to the top, you just pull this band up to here and then this one into the center. So once you have finished that, go ahead and get an extension band. I'm going to stick mine all the way down through there or my hook all the way down through there, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pull this off. Oh, okay, so it looks like I missed looping a band, apparently. Um, so this bracelet is going to fall apart, but if you looped all of your bands, it should be okay. You're probably um, thinking, oh my gosh, what is she doing? She didn't loop this. But anyway, this is the back side of your bracelet, and this is the signature side, so ignoring that front part that is falling apart, um, this is what it will look like, so it's pretty nice. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe, even though this is falling apart. Um, I will have Loomer Kitten's name in the description box below, so make sure to check her out on Instagram. Give her a follow for me. And that's all I'm going to have for you today in this video, so I hope to see you next time.